What's up, YouTube? It's Tank47, and welcome back to the channel for episode number three of our Let's Play of this gym of mine, where we are the gym leader of our small town, and we are trying to put this small town on the map. As we are back into it for episode three, I apologize for the wait on this episode. I was a bit busy last week. Did not get a chance to get this recorded, but we are ready to go ahead and continue forward with this and still hopefully try to get a majority of this done before the uh, release of Pokemon Violet Friday, which we will be live streaming here on the channel. So make sure you guys do turn on alerts and subscribe to the channel so that way you can get notified when I do go live Friday morning with the release of Pokemon Violet. I know I'm excited about that game. I hope you guys are as well. Gen 9 looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I have avoided a lot of spoilers, so I'm going to try to maintain that until Friday when we can play it for the first time live. So let's go ahead and get started with today's gym. Um, we'll start with a gym battle right away to begin the day. See how much uh, damage we can do. Ooh, we got our first uh, strong. Oh, no. Oh no. This could be no bueno. I got the speed at least. And he outsped me. This could be no bueno. This could be our first loss, guys. I was not prepared for this. This is not good. Oh wow, these flinches. Oh no, that's this is gonna be our first loss here, guys. Finally, we we were too confident going into this. And of course X speed. What what what's even the point of that? You got this. And we lost one finally. We can't lose too many in a row, otherwise we do get demoted and eventually removed from the uh, gym circuit. So we want to continue to have wins, but I guess after 20-some uh, battles, one loss is not a horrible thing. I can't expect to be winning them all, as we do have a super potion, so the trainers are getting better. Miss it, come on. There we go. Alright, we got our first win of the day at least now. Alright, we got the bug trainer, so this one should be an easy dub, but we'll see. We got Butterfree coming up first at level 21. Should be an easy one. Trainers are getting smarter with bringing the super potions. And that's level 24 now for our hammerhead and trying to learn bite. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove sand tomb. All right, we got Drill coming out now. And there's a Paralyze. All right, there we go. Now we're chugging along here. We got Yamna coming out. We need to do some grinding before episode four, I think. That's probably what we're going to do here. I'm going to let Hammerhead die so I can fresh switch. That speed boost is a pain in the butt. And why are you going to speed boost all that and then use quick attack? Alright, let's go ahead and switch into Axe Head to get some levels on him. Alright, we got that crit, so that's good. And you missed. 
And him again. Oh no, that was a uh Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a potion this round. Or this, yeah. This turn. And see if I can't stay in the fight for a couple more. Man! Good thing I got money, so I'm gonna keep uh, using a couple of super potions here. I want the levels on Axe Head. Try Dragon Claw, see if that hits. Try Assurance. That's gonna kill. Alright, so now we're down to Magnet. We don't want to get our second loss here, especially with one Mon here. So let's throw out the Dragon Rage. We'll protect. I thought he was going to go for... Man, I cannot get anything to hit here. There we go, finally. We barely squ squeaked that one out. Hey, we got an Evolve, though, so that's going to give us a little bit of more bulk. That is definitely a nice add for the team for Gabite now. Alright, so now we definitely need to get some uh, levels on Axie so we can Evolve Axie next. And then we're back to a level 8 trainer. That's a little bit of a, a little uh, issue, at least so far that I've had, where it's just randomly some uh, higher level mons. We got Wubek coming in, so we'll leave. I should have traded out, but oh well, it's not going to give me that much XP. Alright, we got the Hiker done, and I think that's going to be it for today, at least for this Round, yep. Let's go into the break room, see what we got going on in here. Anything new? Just a quick chat, alright. So we are all done in the break room. Taking that nap for the day. Alright, let's go ahead and change up our order here put axe head up front let's go do some grinding quick go explore a little bit let's go see if we can't catch our dratini now we gotta get a couple more super ball or super potions um and i think we got enough great balls oh uh, maybe not We'll buy one more at least. Alright, let's go check out the cave and see if we can't get our Dratini. At the very least, we'll do a little bit of grinding with Axew. And as we are going to be doing this grinding, guys, let me know in the comments who you're going to be starting with in Pokemon Violet. I think I'm going to be going with Koi Coco. Definitely been a stan of him since I seen his uh, sprite. He's a cute little ghost pepper, I'm thinking. I have not seen the spoiler, so don't spoil it for anyone here either. Um, if you have what the final evolution is... But definitely, I think, uh, Foy Coco. But Quaxley and Sprigatito are both definitely cool mons. Alright. I think in Dragon Claw will kill, yep. Which should get me to level 19 as well. Nice. Can't get lucky and get through to Teeny. Another Axew. Ooh, level 24. I might have to 
swap out here. Go ahead and go into Hammerhead. Alright, good thing that kills. Uh, that might even get me up to level 25 here. We'll try to get Axew up to about level 22, 23 here in this uh, grind session. Ooh, that's not going to help me get there. Uh, let's go ahead and switch into Magnet. We'll uh, probably do a little speed up from here on until we are done. Or we might just do a jump cut. Um, so actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and do a jump cut here, guys. So I will be right back after a little bit of grinding. If I do run into a Dratini, I will cut back in for that or at least review it at the start of uh, when we come back from the break. All right, guys, we will be right back. All right, guys, we have encountered now our second Dratini. We will see if we can't get a Dragon Claw in. And nope, we killed it. And back-to-back -back Dratinis. That's not a very high encounter chance in here. So we now know that we can't Dragon Claw it. All right, let's try another great ball. This is Dratini number three, guys. We have ran into two others that have not managed to stay in a ball. And there's Twister, which won't kill. Maybe we can uh, catch it on this great ball. I don't want to weaken it too much and accidentally kill it. But we got a solid chance here. That was a three shake. There we go. We got our Dratini. That is going to be replacing Magnet on our squad. So we'll do a little bit more um, leveling up for Dratini. And we will have a new member on the squad. We might even be able to have a six member team. I am not sure. I will have to do some uh, research into when I can unlock a six member team in the gyms would i like to give a nickname to dratini yes let me go ahead and check out one of our most recent subscribers and um name the dratini after them and paula paula thank you for subscribing there we go how about i spell your name right all right, so we added Paula to the party. Let's go ahead and make some swaps, and we will be back after our training session. All right, guys, we are back from our training session. We are up to about level 22 to 25, so we are ready to take on the next gym day. Hopefully, we do not get any more losses. We do have a solid group of Pokemon, so I do have Dragon Tail on my Dratini, so I'm leading with him so I can... Uh, Possibly do some damage and you turn out and get to the next mod if I need to. But I should be okay with Twister as long as I don't get stunned. I'm going to Dragon Tail out. Oh no, Dragon Tail's him out. Never mind. So I that's okay though. I will Dragon Tail. Oh, never mind. So let me actually then go ahead and switch out into... Let's switch out into Axe Head. Quick attack won't do much there, but the speed boost definitely does not bode well. Let's go ahead and Dragon Claw. Signature move. Don't let him get all those agilities in. I'm um, switching into Paula again just for the levels. Got to get to level 30 to evolve it into Dragonair. Let's go ahead and Dragon Tail. I missed. All right, I got my Shed Skin gone, though. That's nice. Bring back Butterfree. 
Dragon Tail should kill. Never mind. See if I can't keep back and forthing this. I might here just switch into Axe Head and get the um, kill quick. I do need to teach um, Dragon Claw to Dratini. I should have done that before this, a gym round. Alright, let's switch into Paula here. We shouldn't, even if we lose with Paula, we should be more than fine since we still have Hammerhead. Alright, Paula got the kill, so we'll get that XP, which is a smooth. Alright, we got our first trainer of today done. Let's see what trainer number two has in store. Levels are getting much more competitive, so that's at least... Oh, no. My only hope is to get off some... Paralyzers... I don't know even why I'm bothering. Um, let's see what we can do with this. Switch into Hammerhead, use our ground type moves. Actually, let's use our Dark. That's where we got the super effective and we should be able to take out this Hatchroom in two, two bites now that we got a super potion used. Hone Edge, um, you know what, let's keep a uh, Hammerhead in and do some damage first. I don't think Dark Super Effective on Ghost, I can't remember, but we'll give it a try. It is, okay. And we got the flinch, so that's nice. All right, we got Electric. Let's switch Paula in for the XP. I got the flinch there. So if I want the XP, let me just go ahead and switch into Hammerhead here. My ground typing comes in clutch there. Dragon Breath should do some work for me. All right, trainer number two is done. Reputation starting to go up by 30, which is a noise. All right, we got the scientist coming out with Hilarion level 28 here. We may not do well here. Let's get... I... Yeah, that was not good. I need to get some damage on Larian. So let's go ahead and do... We might get our second loss here. This is the scientist, man. All right. Dragon Claw, he's gonna X speed. I should live that, but I flinch. And then the Dragon Claw is gonna get me. Well, scientist, you are my nemesis, senor. We just lost 10 reputation on that one, so that's not too bad. Let's see what our beauty here has. We got a Snom. Use Twister. Two or three Twisters should kill. Alright, there we go. 
All right, we got Flay Bebe, so that's a part fairy. So we need to hit that Thunder Wave. Now let's switch into Hammerhead and finish it off with a Bite. Wish is going to give it some HP back. Two more bites, we should get it, but now it's gonna get a little more HP back. Let's give a bulldoze a try, see if that, yep, okay. And we got level 26. All right, that is all the trainers for today. Let's head into the break room. We got Mr. Karate Man's back. So far, nothing new. All right, our respect has grown there. Let's sleep and advance the day. And go back in for another round. Let's hope we do not bump into that scientist, though. If I could put um, Cinderace on the squad with a... Oh, I forgot to teach Tratini Dragonclaw. But by teaching uh, Cinderace Dragonclaw, that would be a perfect counter for that uh, scientist. Alright, we're going to use that Thunder Wave to get a Paralyze off and then switch into Hammerhead again. And use our Bite to take care of this fairy. And we got the back-to-back -back paralyzes, so that will make quick work of Hatrum. And we're going to keep Hat or, uh, Hammerhead out there for the bite move on the ghost type. And that should do it for Hone Edge. And then I think we're going to switch back into uh, Paula for Electric to get that XP. We got Hammerhead up to level 26, which is nice. Um, we'll use Dragon Tail because it won't actually force end this battle. And then I should be able to twist her. Oh, he's going to Super Potion there. So the AI is getting stronger. X Speed was worthless, though. Especially if you're going to use a potion right after. That shouldn't kill, and that will kill. And that does it for that battle. Alright, we got Missy again, I believe. Alright, our uh, Twister should make... Oh, we got Frozen. Oh, but we got Shed Skin. That's what's up. I forgot about that. Alright, so Flabebe's coming out. I don't think it's primary fairy, so I should be able to affect it. Oh, nope, it does not. I should have learned that the hundred times I've already faced Flabebe in here. Alright, Axe Head should be able to take care of this quickly. Go ahead and use Slash. The Razor Leaves do nothing to me. And Flabebe is down. Alright, we got XU up to level 23 as well, so that is nice as we continue this grind. Still no scientist in the, this round, so that's good. We got a fairy typing here, though. So let's go ahead and hit our thunder wave. That's gonna kill. Oh, nope. Okay, okay. That's fine with me. You can pa paralyze me. I'm gonna switch into hammerhead. Let's hope we don't get hit with a draining kiss. 
All right. This bite should do a decent amount. And the paralyze should... Oh, no, the super potion again. And we got it there. Speed boost over his paralyzed stats. All right. Um... I'm going to forget agility for now. And I think I'm going to teach uh, Dratini Dragon Claw over Dra or Twister. And then that'll give me a decent dragon move to use opposite of our U-turn move in Dragon Tail. Let's go ahead and hit it with a slam. That bullet seed hit me five times, I'm guessing. Let me guess, five more times. Oh, only four times that time. Alright, send that away. Pull out Murkrow. So let's go ahead and switch into Axew just for the levels. Nope, don't want to switch anything. We do want to use Dragon Claw. Super Potion will heal it completely. And this Dragon Claw should kill. I flinched on that one. Alright, we're going to switch back into Paula. Hopefully we can kill it in one move. I don't think we will. Maybe. Ah, uh, the sleep powder did not help us. And the bullet seed's gonna kill on this one. That is okay. Let's go ahead and give Axio a chance to mop it up. And there we go. And that should be all the trainers for today. In the break room we go. Talk to our gym girl here. Have I donated to the bank? Huh, someone's at the door. Gym girl, Mayor Dalton wanted me to come by and ask you to come to Town Hall. I think he wants to talk to you. Mayor. Tank, kiddo, you keep blowing me away. Keep up the pace and we might just have to make the city bigger. I got word from the Pokemon League that you're due for an increase in rank. Here you go, gym leader. I was elevated to rank number two. Hold it right there, Pops. We got some goons coming in here. We kind of have an issue with how this dunce is running the show. How about you take a step back and let us hold down the fort? We got another gang of ruffians. We got some citizens coming in to step involved, but we're going to take these guys down. We got Scraggy versus our Paola. Only a few more levels until we get to... Ooh, that's gonna... Do some damage. Alright, we got Sandshrew coming out. Let's go ahead and drag into trail again. That magnitude is gonna kill anyway, though. Alright, no levels on that one. That's not good. Of course, you're using super potions. Alright, as long as we kill before turn 3 on rollout, we're fine. It missed anyway, and that'll be a kill there. We got Scraggy coming back. Let's finally teach our Dratini Dragon Claw after this battle. Alright, we got Crunch. We are going to, I think...
switch out. We had hair cross coming in, so we should be fine with. I should have just stayed with, and that'll kill anyway. All right, um, our hammerhead should be more than fine to mop, mop up the last two, though. Of course, super potions. That should get me up to level 27. There we go. The biker gang has been defeated. All right, he, they are leaving me alone. How about I visit the commercial district just behind the gym? We have finally unlocked that area behind the gym. So let's heal up and go explore. And that's probably where we'll cut the episode for today. We're going to do a few episodes this week. So make sure you guys do check back often. It's not going to be set up like a regular scheduled uh, video, but we will have at least one to two to three episodes during the week. Hopefully to polish off the game before we get to Scarlet and Violet on Friday. I ah, must be the new gym leader. Let's talk about the commercial district. However, we can only place three buildings here. The museum, the factory, and the landmark plans can only be used here. They cause much more drastic changes to the landscape than the other three plans do, so we have to keep them away from the residents. They also drastically change your paycheck, so keep that in mind as well. Each one will reduce one factor while drama uh, dramatically erasing others. But we also have three facilities here for you to use. The mall. The gentleman in front of the census building can tell you your projected revenue or recommend buildings. And finally, you can buy plans for the museum's landmarks and from her in front of the smallest building so let's go check out this commercial district we got a bunch more people here to build for us a couple of more rows it looks like we got three more and here we go starter park come meet your new friend here Oh, it's not ready yet, so eventually we can get another starter, it looks like. Talk to this lady, or this person here. With history, advanced buildings, eye-catching buildings. We do have some money. We got a factory. Use it to construct a technological building, a museum. The museum's only 10. The landmark is 10. And we can demolish for 5. Let's see what I can sell. I don't think I can sell anything that's worth it. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Oops. Teach Tratini Dragon Claw. Oh, it's not able to. All right, never mind that. All right, let's check out this building now. Ah, the mall. See what we got for sale here. All right, we got our items. And on this one, we got a bunch of TMs. So nothing that we need as of this point. We are still too low level to be worried about TMs. Hold items, I will uh, definitely come back and check those out at some point. All right, let's get our revenue forecast. Our only $500 a neo building or a factory to help increase the industry so we need a couple thousand more dollars i think about two thousand more dollars to get the factory which was ten thousand so let's go ahead and start gym number two made it entirely of blissies let's do it let's only fight three blissies though 
see what this is about before we end today's video we will go ahead and challenge this last bliss um i don't think we're winning this guys I, I, unless it only tail whips. Oh, it's holding black sludge too. Okay. So it's just going to kill itself. So this is just kind of uh, what we'll use as our outro. I appreciate you guys coming out and watching today's video. We're probably going to gain a bunch of levels doing this. But uh, we will probably end this one here for today. And then we'll come back um and probably have another episode right away tomorrow so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and as we tune out today i appreciate all of you guys i will come back and we'll probably do a little bit of grinding off screen um including this bliss challenge we'll probably get up to level 30 or so before we start the next group of challenges and if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to drop a comment let me know and as well as hit that like button for me. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you.